I have a treat for you today. DMC releasing a new version of his image, and you might be saying like, ah, we've seen this before. No, you haven't. No, you have not. This thing has just gotten supersized. I mean, there has been so many changes and you're about to see. That's why this one's a little longer because I had to just enjoy the beauty and the extensiveness of this image. This is by far the best Nintendo image ever built and you're about to see why. All right, here we go, DMC bringing us a version four or five. And really, at this point, we lost track, but I have to say every ver reversion of this has been amazing. Just so you know the little bit of history around this is, originally it was the SNES classic build only. So it had you know Super Nintendo and Nintendo, and then the Super NES classic and the NES classic with the original music of the NES, SNES classic on there, and then the SNES classic theme, thus making a little 32 gigabyte for the Pi Zero and the Pi 3, almost an identical SNES classic build. And then people were like, oh, you should add portables. And then so he added portables on version 2. And then version 3, I believe, is when they added some Nintendo 64 on there as well and put in, um, I believe that was also when they put in, um, what's the game I'm looking for? Virtual Boy. And now here it is again. And just so you know, this has already won uh, my top three uh, images in the past because as far as a purpose-built image, it is totally awesome that it's a Nintendo only image, but it's just so well made. Uh, it not only has JPEGs, but it also has the videos. So all the games you're gonna have not only the, the artwork, but you're also gonna have the video snap to back that up for all your systems. Now this new image is, is a super big upgrade. This isn't just some another like, oh, I fixed a couple things. No, no, no. This is rocking 8,269 games. I can, and this is a 128 gigabyte version of his image. And you might be wondering like, where the hell did all that space come from? Well, he added almost 2,000 Nintendo DS games. So now it's up to 1,985 Nintendo DS games. Not only that, another really thing I liked is he updated this whole theme. He had somebody help him with the artwork. And what they did was they went ahead and they changed it from kind of that matrix looking thing to this coin where it says hack games on the lower right. So the theme itself has been edited. Um, he says full credit to Ryan Officer for his help with the artwork. Um, but DMC, this is his uh, next version of it, 128 gigabyte version pretty much almost every single Nintendo game ever. He even, not ever, but for most of these systems, including the hack games. And uh, he even included Nintendo arcade games. So that's gonna include like your Nintendo Verse, your Nintendo Play Choice, um, and the other Nintendo games that were made for the arcade. So you have them all here. Now the Nintendo Play Choice does run a vertical style, so you might uh, not want to play those games, it might not look correctly on your monitor, but he wanted to include them just so you could say you have all the games on this particular image. So um, let's see what exactly we're rocking here. Arcade set 104, all Nintendo arcades. Uh, family computer um, console 355, family computer disk system 149, Nintendo NES 789, Super Famicom 512, that's quite a collection on the Super Famicom, you usually see about 200 or so. Super Nintendo 786, and just so you, get, you guys know, this is not hack games, these are official released games. Nintendo 64, 303, so he added the whole collection of Nintendo 64, I think before he had a limited collection. Uh, Game & Watch 56, Game Boy 705, Game Boy Color 533, Game Boy Advance 1068. Now here you go, big drop here, Nintendo DS 1985. So you're going to start out with your game packs, but then it's just going to go straight into the alphabet. And man, is there an alphabet here. A lot of Nintendo DS. So this is something I've never seen before. That every image, every other image I've ever reviewed only has about you know 200, maybe 300 Nintendo DS games at the most. So for this to be dropping that many, um, look no further for a Nintendo DS. And I know I mentioned it earlier in the video, but I want to make this clear: this image does work for Pi Zero, Pi t Pi uh, Two, and Pi Three. You shouldn't have any issues as far as running Nintendo DS. Uh, the Pi Zero might not run those, but you're going to be able to run all the other games, no problem. Virtual Boy 24. So Nintendo Hack Games, this is totally separate from the other 700 games we have over here, 789. You give them an additional, can you believe this, an additional 637 hacked 
games. So he made custom artwork here on the left side. These are not gonna have your video snaps on them because he would have to create those himself and that would be a lot, a lot of work and I don't know if it'd be worth it. I don't know if his, his uh, sweat and tears would be, uh, would be appreciated. So uh, Bomberman hacks, Metroid hacks, Mario hacks, Zelda hacks, Castlevania hacks, all sorts of your classic games redone. Now I'm sure a lot of these hacks are very similar, you know, like maybe these double dragon hacks, you know, easy versus hard type is almost exactly the same game, just a slight tweaks. But hey, you know, to have that flexibility, to have those options to you, really cool stuff. Golf, uh, all sorts of Legend of Zelda, as you see, Mega Man, you got all the hacks on here. Really, really good stuff. So, ton of hacks. Super Nintendo hacks, again, a ton, 221. So I gotta dive into these. I'm gonna definitely have some fun with this. And as you can see, he made some custom artwork there on the left. Look, Earth, Earthbound hacks, you got you know four of them right there. F-Zero, you got like four of them. Final Fantasy. So all those favorite games that you grew up with, you know, a slight variation of them, a slight hack on them to really kind of, uh, you know, give you a new Super Mario World. Jesus. Wow. Wow. Super Mario World, I think there's about 50 hack. Look. <laughs> wow. So Super Mario World, you got about 50 options there. Super Metroid, another 20. Zombies Ate My Neighbor. You got a couple different options here. You got Oh No More Zombies. And you also got uh, Ultimate Edition. Great games, great original games, slight twist on them, good to see. Uh, again, he, he changed these this whole artwork here. In the lower left corner here where it says hacked games, typically instead of hacked games, it says it has like a matrix look to it. And then same thing with the like the matrix font. And then same thing with the, the actual icon in the center of the screen here, the console. It says it there as well. So this just ties into the theme even more. So Game Boy Color 1 hack game is the Super Mario Land 2. Game Boy Advance hack games, you got about 22. These are fairly common to see. And then Config is running a recent release of uh, RetroPie. And then uh, you have the actual mini systems. Now this is cool because your friend comes over and they're like, hey buddy, did you get the NES Classic or the Super NES Classic? Nah, man, you know, I saw them on eBay for 500 bucks, but I wasn't about to pay that. So you're like, but he's like, yeah, but I really wanted to play Star Fox 2. Well, guess what, you go into here, any of all the games, including Star Fox 2. And if they're like, oh, I want to play Street Fighter Turbo, well, here you go. So you can go directly to here and show them the original release titles for the classic edition consoles. And they're right here, ready to go. So really cool stuff there. Um, let's go ahead and launch a game. Um, as you can see, loading screens. And uh, you know everything about this image is purpose built. You even have the bezels as well. So one player, Super C. Looks like there's no um, shaders installed. And uh, now, we're, now we're playing with power, Nintendo power. Oh, got hit. All right, so Nintendo works just fine. Um, something I want to check out was the uh, actual portables, see what those look like. Game Boy Advanced of the loading screen, high def and awesome. This is how I like to play the uh, the portables. It's not stretched out too much. Still big screen, but not super stretched. So this is working just fine. The controls on that are gonna be the same as your controls for all the other ones. Um, Game Boy Color, just to check that out really quick, see what the bezel looks like. All right, cool. Cool little bezel for the Game Boy Color. So your Game Boy is gonna be similar to that. It'll probably be white or gray. Um, Game and Watch, you're gonna see the device there. Uh, Nintendo 64. So Beetle Adventure Racing is one of those games where it's a little laggy in the menu, but once you get into the actual game, the play is great. So if you wanna race Beetles around a track, I highly recommend this one. 6,000 RPM, 7,000 RPM. All right, and the, it's good to see that the Nintendo 64 controls are working off the bat. Sometimes you have to set those up separately. So again, Image is ready to go. I'm using the uh, F710 controller, but if you have any kind of PS3 or Xbox 360 style controller, it should, whoa, got a little air there. Got a little sideways. All right, so as you see, I mean, it's totally playable. There's a little graphic glitching here and there, but uh, you know, as far as the gameplay goes, I'm not losing out at all, so good stuff there. Let's exit out. 
back to the theme here. Um, arcade, let's go ahead and test this out really quick, see what the bezel looks like on the arcade. <laughs> love, love that classic NES uh, Nintendo arcade. Oh, nice. So this is all set up for the vertical here. This looks really good. I pressed the wrong button. All right, I get I get another second chance here. Second chance, Drew talks. Less embarrassing, maybe, or more embarrassing. We'll see. Oh boy, they're coming for it. Oh, oh, that speed though. Oh boy. Come on, come on. Oh boy, here we go, here we go, princess is mine. Got her. Woo! Love, heart, broken. Nintendo DS, let's just do Biker Mice from Mars. Okay, so left trigger, left trigger is your exit button on Nintendo DS. Missed that, huh? How close am I? Rock and ride! All right. So be careful with your left trigger when you're exiting those games. Um, that's really cool. Um, I mean, if, if I have a friend who just loves Nintendo, or again, you know, with me, the 128 gigabyte card is really the best bang for your buck, or 64 is great as well, but I mean, after 128, it really starts climbing up in price. And so I would love to just have one of these, 128 with all the NES, with all the Nintendo, and then, you know, have another one with all the Sega, or one and Sega and Arcade, for example. Um, to be honest, though, I, I probably play Nintendo three, like, you know, 75% of the time I'm, for Sega, it's probably 75 to 25% Nintendo to Sega. That's just me personally. But uh, like I said, if you need a Nintendo built purpose image, it doesn't get better than this. There's nothing even close to this that does Pi, it does Pi Zero. It has all the systems, including hack games. It has an, a huge Nintendo DS collection. Uh, the, it has the original SNES classic music already. It has some SNES classic splash screens already. It has all the bezels all set up, ready to go. Uh, Nintendo classic themed on those bezels. Then you have all your launch screens, which are all specific to that particular system. And then on top of all that, all the artwork has been scraped. So you have beautiful JPEGs, beautiful uh, box art, and then an awesome video snap. So that's where the majority of the space is going is with those video snaps on these systems. That's why 128, but a huge collection. Again, this is over 8,000 titles, uh, all Nintendo related. Uh, amazing, amazing stuff. Some of the even extra things on here is, you know, that it has a custom theme on here that you can't download. It's been made by him, by, ha you know, these hack games here. This is, this is not standard. This has been added in after the fact. Um, all your controls are already set up. Uh, all the configurations, so, you know, amazing, amazing stuff. I can't knock this image. I found nothing wrong with it, and I can't say, oh, I would like to have this game on it. Oh, I'd like to have this game, because what it is, what it's trying to do, it's exactly accomplishing that. So it's not trying to be something it's not. Um, where some of these other images where it's like these image dumps, where it's like try to get as much stuff on an SD card as possible, um, you know, uh, a lot of times there's a lot of broken stuff. Um, not only that, he went the extra mile. He scraped all the marquee and the wheel art as well. So if you do install a nether theme that, that utilizes those marquees and wheels, um, and what it does is it gives you a blank screen or gives you like a stock font. 
if you don't have those installed he already installed those for you so he even went further in that this image is set up for you if you want to eventually change the um, the theme as well so it's ready for upgrade ready for customization as well so I mean how, how do you not you know like really good work right you know I just want to throw that out that this is an amazing amazing product and uh, I, I hope you all appreciate it as much as I do because uh, when somebody does this and goes that all out, you know, it's just great to see. I mean, it's just gonna, and what it does also is it is it kind of like passes the baton on and it really shows the community that, you know, hey, you know, people are making this high caliber, this high quality images. And what it does is just pushes the other creators that much farther. So awesome stuff to see. Um, I love it. Let me know if you guys got any questions. I Like I said, I couldn't find anything wrong with this. Maybe you guys can. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Again, shout out to DMC for this awesome product. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.